Welcome to the Utility Compose demo of Agile ETL and Data Warehouse Automation. Data architects and BI teams today must answer increasingly stringent data warehousing requirements. They must respond to new and fast changing analytics needs, deliver more results with the same resources, and meet tight service level agreements and deadlines. The challenge is that conventional tools and manual coding methods can reduce flexibility, strain available resources, and cause project delays. Agile Data Warehouse Automation with Achinity Compose provides a new approach to answer these challenges. Achinity Compose automates and streamlines data warehouse management end-to-end, -end, from data warehouse design to creation and updates. This empowers data architects and BI teams to eliminate as much as 80% of typical manual coding. Achinity Compose flexibly supports multiple design approaches and helps update environments rapidly. By automating the data warehouse process for Amazon Redshift, Achinity Compose enables a fast, fully managed, and elastic cloud data warehouse environment. Let's walk through the key aspects of this process. In the database panel, I can manage my connection settings for my data sources. First, the Redshift data warehouse settings, which includes the port, username, and password, and the data warehouse schema and data mart schema. In the Northwind data source connection settings, I can map to the task that I ran earlier in Eternity Replicate to load my data from that Northwind database into the landing area in Redshift. Next, in the model panel, I can either import my model from ERWIN or I can discover that model from my Northwind data source. For the demo, I'm going to use the Northwind database as my data model. When I click search, I'll then be able to see all of the tables and views in that data source, and I can then add them as my selected tables and views for the data model. Eternity Compose will immediately create the data model, and in the data model panel, I can see that there are eight entities, 46 attributes, and eight relationships. I can easily display the model and take a look at the details. Here I can see the relationships between orders and order details, and I can also show the primary keys for orders and show the primary keys for products. The next step is to go to the data warehouse panel and create a new data warehouse. At this point, Eternity Compose is now creating all of the tables in my data warehouse based on my data model. Now that the data warehouse tables were created, I can quickly scroll through this list to take a look at all of the actions. If I display the tables in the data warehouse, I can see that the tables include a hub and a satellite table with the order details table only having a hub because it's a fact table. With my data warehouse successfully validated, let's move on to the next step. In the manage interface, I can see all of the mappings that were created in my data warehouse. If I drill into the order details fact table, I can see all of the mappings and create new ones if needed. Now I can generate my ETL instructions. Even though my database is pretty small, the ETL instructions can number in the hundreds and require a lot of manual work to actually create them. To start populating my data from the landing area into the data warehouse, I'll click the Run button. Achidity Compose now switches to the monitor interface that allows me to view the progress in real time. As a final step in the demo, I'll use Compose to create a new data mart on Amazon Redshift. 
the new data mart wizard opens and I'll select the option to build a new transactional data mart. For my fact table, I'll select the order details table. For my dimensions, I'm going to use customers, employees, and products. Finally, I'll use order date as my transaction date. I can now use the Trinity Compose to create the data more tables. Once again, I can skip all the manual work required to create my ETL instructions and let Compose do the work for me. Now I can populate the data more tables with data. Thanks for your time. Please visit us at www.achidity.com.